First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise, therefore, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right for the people to peacefully assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So in simpler terms, what the First Amendment guarantees, the five freedoms protects speech, religion, press, assembly, and the right to petition the government. Together, these five guaranteed freedoms make the people of the United States the freest in the world. And as we all know, when those laws were first, uh, or should I say when that First Amendment was first enacted, it didn't actually guarantee freedom of speech to everyone, and it still doesn't today. Today, um, you know, people have the uh, NDA, the non-disclosure agreement. And also, you certainly don't have a right to threaten people. You, and as Harry said, you can't really go in a theater and scream fire, and that's okay. Now, people will always challenge these things. But what's really been taken out of context is the fact that Harry was speaking of the fact that his child was being photographed by someone lying in ambush in a vehicle on the street. Not for physical harm, but just to take photographs. Because once you walk out of your home, there really is no assumption of privacy. And of course, in this digital age, Increasingly, we're all giving up our privacy. So it is uh, unfortunate that having gone back and listened to the armchair expert, what was actually a very casual conversation has been blown all out of proportion, but then that's no surprise. And the people that's making the biggest stink about it, of course, are the usual uh, perpetrators, the people who depend on the First Amendment to exploit any possible loophole in the law to take away one's privacy. The assumption of privacy, you know, I once heard that in London, the average person is recorded or photographed some 200 times a day on average when they leave their homes. And there's a whole collection of these videos online that feature nothing but the ring doorbell. The ring bell cameras, if I got that right, or the ring cameras, those, um, you know, they, they, they point right out to the street. Highly valuable for crime solving. But there has to be some type of exception to that law made when it comes to children. In court cases, the privacy of children are protected, and only a judge, I believe, can, in some states, lift that um, veil of privacy regarding children. All the way up to age 18, in some cases, Unless that child has been charged as an adult, we never get to see a photo of that child or know that child's name. I believe that there could be some exception if their parents allow it. And of course, a lot of these uh, newspapers and news outlets, they voluntarily conceal the identity of a child. But it really is a safety issue. And it's unfortunate that a conversation has been blown out of proportion. There's a lot of things that I don't understand. And of course, the freedom of speech is what led to one of the, the worst presidents, the worst, I'm sorry, not one of the worst, the worst presidents in my lifetime. And this president used the First Amendment to cause so many problems for so many people. And some people would even argue that the First Amendment is one of the reasons why the pandemic had grown so far out of proportion is because we had a right to dispute it. 
So that freedom can cost lives eventually. And while I believe that the freedom of speech is definitely the number one amendment that there are of all of the amendments, that is like number one, that is paramount, that is central to our country. It also protects people who decide that they can exploit, they can exploit anyone and accuse them of saying anything using the First Amendment. Now, of course, in America, we do take people to court for libel. Corporations have a freedom of speech as individuals, even though they're corporations. And I think that is bonkers because part of the protecting their speech means that they can fund politics. They can they can uh, lobby for laws that actually help them as a corporation and not as an individual. But if I'm correct, that was upheld by the United States Supreme Court. So, uh, yeah, we, we have these laws and the laws by themselves are not the problem. It's the interpretation of the law, much like religion. Religion is not the actual problem. It's the interpretation. People can find some type of loophole to exploit any law, whether it's a religious law or whether it's a civil law. People can find a way to ex to exploit these things. And unfortunately, all of this, unfortunately, always trickles down to children. And so those laws of religion sometimes don't actually protect children from harm. And the freedom of speech law is also something that may not necessarily protect a child from harm. But we all support the law. And in some form of fashion, even at this moment, I am using my First Amendment right to speak about it. But for some individuals, there's a heavy price to be paid. There's a heavy price to be paid. And, and in some cases, it can cost you life. And I wish my ancestors would have been able to use that First Amendment without fear of persecution. Anyway, that's all I have. Um, it's... Um, it's an ongoing debate. It is an ongoing debate. And certainly as an individual, there's nothing I can do to resolve this argument about the First Amendment. Um, it, it protects us. And for some people, it can cause harm. Considering everything that just happened in these past few days since the Armchair Expert podcast, now more than ever... These Sussexes need our support. So make sure that you try to avoid any of the negative clickbait. I know it's difficult. I have problems with it myself. You know, I see the headline and all of a sudden without, you know, thinking, I, you know, take that deep breath and I'm ready to fight or flight. But, um, you know, we have to stick together in this and avoid the clickbait. And definitely don't share these uh, links, you know. They spoke about this on the Sussex Squad uh, podcast Sunday. Don't share the links. Stop sharing the links. And the paparazzi photos, you know, I, I have policed myself about that. Um, I have not shared the photo of Megan and Archie on the way to uh, daycare. And I don't intend to. And you shouldn't either. Don't do it because that's the reason why there was someone laying in the back of an SUV with blacked out windows and a huge camera is because of the appetite for those things. So support the Sussexes, um, avoid the naysayers, avoid the clickbait, and let's all stick together because, you know, we're, we're here as a community to support each other and, of course, to support the Sussexes. Chances are they'll never know our names and never meet us, but we're standing on principle 
because, as I always say, I hate a bully. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot. Do like, share, support. If you want to donate to this channel, there's a Patreon, a PayPal, and a Cash App. And, of course, if you want to support in any other way with your comments, by sharing, and also by, um, you know, get a podcast of your own. Get a channel of your own. Don't worry about, um, you know, having everything so perfect. But, you know, just stay positive, stay on message, and and do it yourselves. I mean, we, we need more positive spaces. I hear that over and over again. And... I'm, you know, I'm no authority on this stuff, but I just know what's in my heart. So if you feel likewise, then if you have a phone, you have a platform. It's 2021. Okay. All right. I'm out of here. Oh, by the way, I'm barren. I don't say that often, often enough. And I love you guys. Thank you so much.